really well at getting yourself on a national platform. You're very much a national band, I think. On not only your own national tour, but also special guest on other tours and playing festivals. Yeah, I think that's very much been a focus of the last couple of years at least, if not a little bit more. We've, we started off doing sort of one show in Melbourne and then coming back to Adelaide and then a few months later going over to Sydney and coming back and just sort of testing the waters. And in 2009 and 10, we really made a focus to sort of stay on those longer legs and do as many dates as possible just because it's cheaper in the long run and you get more exposure as well. Um, and it's just been like one of the best years of my life, I reckon, just that constantly being away and, and with this group of people all the time. It's been really great. Oh. And you're playing Big Day Out again. You were requested back. And what do you expect changes? I'm hoping we're on later in the day because we've always managed to be on it, you know, before midday, like every single time. So hopefully we get a bit of lunch into us before we play this time. Um, but yeah, the last time we played in 2000. Nine? Yes. Yeah, that was a, that was amazing because we got to open the green stage that year and that blew our minds. Yeah. We, had, we had, you know, more stage than we knew what to do with. We probably looked like stunned mullets up there, just kind of. <laughs> it was huge. Sorry. Huge. Yeah. We. Uh, <laughs> I, I went to the, the bathroom and the, the the koala guy from TV on the radio was there. The guy with a really big. What's his name? Kip, Kip Malone. Malone. <laughs> and, and and we were both, you know, going to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> As in the urine or whatever, I'm sorry. But, and then we were washing our hands and, I, and they were just about to go on. I said, this is, this is how it starts. I said, have a good show. <laughs> and he said, thank you. Like, like he was a Jedi or something. And then he just walked on out. <laughs> and they had a pretty good show. <laughs> so yeah, we get to do a bit of uh, stargazing this time as well, hopefully. That's always nice. Yeah. Air yeah. conditioning, that's always nice. Oh, that, that's basically, yeah. I, I, One I, of the main reasons I think you should all form a band is because if you manage to get the big day out, you're at the big day out with air conditioning rather than just at the big day out without air conditioning. Yeah, oh my tough. God, improves it's, the situation yeah, so much. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I just admire the punters so much. They go out there on 40 degree days and just say, yeah, whatever, I'm just there to check the bands out. But now that I've had air conditioning, I don't know if I could ever go back. <laughs> Get the fireman hose if it's really hard. That's, That's true. true. That is true. Man, I just remember that it was in like the boiler room or something. The guy kept squirting me with a hose. And I got to the point where like, dude, I'm, like there's all this mashed up newspaper everywhere coating my it looks like I've got paper mache shoes on. And he just kind of kept maliciously like on this flaccid light. It wasn't even like a constant spray. It's like the pressure on the other end was like waning. So it was just like <laughs> On me in particular, I'm like, this is perverse. <laughs>